Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. One has to wonder how a manufacturer who added some extra touches like this, a logo that will never be visible, except when you're putting your license plate on, can seemingly care so little about quality control. I already did a video on how we got random wheels as if they were mix and matching from different suppliers. Since then, while working on some other Bronco mods, I've run into a number of issues that just make me insane. The first thing I'm going to show you was actually mentioned by a viewer, and he was right. This is just above the glove box. It really looks like the screw covers are missing. Just the shape of the opening says to me that covers are meant to snap in here. And if you look up from there, you can see where there are covers hiding screws. Even worse, while I was poking around looking at that, I saw this. Really? No footwell cover? Everything is just exposed like this? I didn't see any retaining clips for screws, so it doesn't look like they forgot the cover. It looks like this was intentional. But hey, at least they were consistent and didn't provide one on the driver's side too. Cheese Ford. Here's another one. What the heck is this rubber gasket looking thing doing sticking out like this? If I untuck it completely, it hangs funny. If I try to tuck it all in, the right side still sticks out. This just can't be right. And not to be left out, we have this gasket thing sticking out over here. But the other side seems to be folded in. When this bumper comes off at some point, I'll see if I can figure out how all of these should have been installed. And here's the one that probably makes me the most crazy. When I was getting ready to put the hood deflector on, I saw this, and now I definitely can't unsee it. Someone needs to tell me if this is the new normal for Ford. I never saw any panel gaps or misalignment like this on my wife's 2016 Explorer or my 2011 Ranger. Isn't this the kind of thing they make fun of Teslas for? I don't even want to talk about what looks like marks left from a plier on the driver's side hood tie down. Okay, I'm done ranting. So what has your experience been like? If you've seen the same issues or something else, can you post in the comments below? And until next time, see you later.